Okay, the live broadcast is going to start in a minute. The live broadcast is going to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, for those of you who don't know why I have got this mask on, you should have been following me on Twitter. I put a tweet out and it was up to you to vote and you retweeted enough times. So this mask came and it looks absolutely awesome. I'm so pleased with it. I hope I didn't make too many of you jump, but this is a really awesome mask. This is gonna be used a lot. Very, very realistic. Oh my goodness. I can see some really cool Instagram posts actually happening with this mask. And today's broadcast is all about surprises. I've got a really big surprise for you. Let's get this off. Ah, we will turn back into Dave from Geekanoids. That was a crazy start to the video, wasn't it? This video is all about surprises. You are not gonna believe what I'm gonna unbox for you. And I wanna say a big, big thank you to everyone who has tuned into this broadcast. I put a little teaser out the other day in a tweet about that mask. It all started a few days ago. I actually asked you all to vote by retweeting uh, if you wanted me to get that mask in and for it to appear in a video. I never thought enough of you would retweet that particular tweet, but you did. So this got purchased in and I actually tweeted out a little tiny uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, a sneak peek of it the other day. And in addition to that, if you watched uh, my OnePlus 5T review the other day, it was actually sitting behind me on the desk here. And I don't think any of you noticed I gave you a big hint during that video, but just look at how realistic this is. And it was such a good price as well. I just thought it was a bit of fun. I absolutely love it. I'll tell you who doesn't like it, and that is Milo. Milo does not like this mask at all. I think it's just because it's so realistic. And uh, it's even when I've not got it on, if I'm just holding it like this, and Milo is my little Shih Tzu dog, by the way, uh, even when I'm just holding it, he doesn't like it. When I put it on, he goes absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, how are you all? I hope you're all well. Uh, I've been doing really well. I've been absolutely loving the OnePlus 5T. There are still a lot of you actually uh, getting in touch with me via Twitter or via private message or via email saying, Dave, we think you're just saying that you're using the OnePlus 5T and then behind the scenes, you're going back to your iPhone 7 Plus. So that is not the case. If I just go into my pocket here, I have been using this all day. I am using the OnePlus 5T as my daily driver and I'm really liking it. A big, big thank you actually to one of my viewers who actually contacted me via email and in the comment section. He told me some tips about the Gmail app that was very, very useful indeed. I think it was Al. So if you're watching this, Al, a big, big thank you for the tips about the Gmail app. That has sorted out me having to go into various inboxes all the time to delete from multiple different accounts. I've now got that sorted. I've got rid of the promotions part. I've got rid of the social part so I can just quickly sort out my emails. But anyway, that's not what this particular broadcast is about. And I told you I've got a, a very secret box to uh, show you and the contents of course in this very video. It's uh, something that you're not going to expect me to be unboxing. Uh, it's something that I've got in for a particular project and uh, just don't hate on me for doing it. I'm sure a lot of you appreciate it anyway. I'm going to tease you a little bit. I'm going to give you some clues. The first clue is this. This is like a carbon fiber type skin for the product I've purchased in. So I'll give you a little bit of time to catch up and just see if you can guess uh, what this is for. And if you can, then pop it down in the chat. So that's the first little clue. The second clue is, and this isn't a very good clue actually, unless I showed you, and it doesn't even say what it's for on the back, but I've got this uh, premium, uh, tempered or glass tempered 
uh, screen protector and that's for the product I'm going to be unboxing today as well so that's another clue for you and it's quite big it looks like sort of over 10 inches I think this is in size uh, it might even be over 12 inches so this is a glass screen protector and it is a computer type device I'm going to be unboxing and I'll give you another clue um, a few of you have put guesses in the chat already I've got uh, Sumu saying is it a gaming laptop uh, Anton saying iPad Pro 12 inch uh, Paul Sajid is saying laminator it's definitely not a laminator this is a computer of some description um, and Anton who put the last guess in there is quite close but when I show you this next uh, clue you will no doubt guess that it is in fact not an iPad uh, so we've got this here which is in fact a 200 gigabyte micro SD card so that's clue number three now I have also got some other items related to it but they haven't been delivered yet uh, we've got Raymond Moore saying I think it's a Microsoft book uh, that is a very good guess very very good guess and Daddy Deadpool saying Amiga 500 I don't think Amiga 500s take these memory cards but if it was an Amiga 500 I would be very very happy if you know, if you don't know one of my first business ventures was Amiga Maniacs which was a fan based magazine for Commodore Amiga users that's a really good guess and Paul Sergides comes in with the guess of a Surface 4 so some very good guesses in the chat and in fact Paul was very close indeed let me just this has literally just been delivered I've been waiting for this to be delivered literally all day and I was tracking the delivery and I had all my camera set up I'm just wiping off the condensation because it's very very cold uh, where I am today in fact we've had uh, snow today so it's a very very cold day uh, and the very close guess came in from uh, Paul who said Surface 4 that is really very very close are you ready for this are you ready for the big reveal or do you want me to put the mask back on do you want the, the lion mask back on I'll do my Lion King intro to the products I think we've seen enough of the lion mask today already but anyway here's the reveal this is what's been delivered it is in fact the 2017 Surface Pro so I'm really really excited to unbox this I have tested these before but not the 2017 version this in fact has got Windows 10 Pro installed on it I wasn't aware of that I thought it was Windows 10 Home uh, it's also got an Intel Core i7 processor 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage now I went for the 256 gigabytes of storage model because the difference between uh, this and the next model up which had 512 was quite a lot and this 200 gigabyte card uh, was about 70 pounds on Amazon so much much cheaper than going for the next storage option uh, and it's uh, w when you're buying things and specking them up you have to look at things like that I mean the whole package and I'm still waiting for the type cover to be delivered for this uh, also waiting for the surface pen which is due tomorrow uh, and, it, and it does take uh, the toll on the bank balance that you know it's a lot of additional extras for something like this and a case of course as well uh, and I've also got like a feather case for it so two cases in fact one of them's like a snap-on case and one is a pouch so plenty of um, accessories needed to bring this up to what I want to use it for uh, let's just have a look inside the chat before I unbox this I've got Gritty Shaker asking are you keeping that or just reviewing it uh, this hopefully is going to be a keeper um, in fact this was not uh, purchased from Microsoft just to let you know that was not the best deal I got a very very good deal somewhere else uh, Paul also asks is it an 8th gen CPU no this is the 7th gen CPU inside this one but anyway without further ado let's get this unboxed and have a look inside so let's just open this up and as with all of my products I know I get criticized for doing this some people just say rip it open don't open it so carefully I almost cut my finger then I always open my products very very carefully uh, the product packaging if you don't keep something so if you do sell it on uh, can add a fair bit of price to the value so I always open up these even these seals very very carefully just so that if I do need them 
then I have got them in really good condition. So things like this, you know, I would keep that. I know it sounds sad, but I would norm normally keep something like that. That's crazy, absolutely crazy. So here we go. I'm not gonna hold it up here and do it. I'm gonna put it on the desk because it is quite a bit of weight. Let's hear if we get a box fart. Come on. Mm. Oh, we got a bit of a box fart with that one. So that's the top lid, no padding in there. So no padding on the top lid. Let's just pop that on my MacBook Pro stand over the back there. This is what it's presented like inside the box. So we've got the tablet sort of front and center, of course. So we can take this out. Wow, it's got some nice weight to it. Oh, it's very, very cold, freezing cold. This has been a, in a courier van all day and has literally just been delivered about five, 10 minutes ago. So that's the actual Surface Pro. It's got a nice weight to it. And I went for the i7 model uh, because this is destined to be used with Photoshop. And uh, I researched the i3 models, i5 models and below, so sort of the M models, a fanless designs the i7 has got a fan in it but i read quite a lot of uh, reviews a lot of feedback from users who were using it for photoshop and they said you'll appreciate the extra speed so i went for the i7 model even though it's got a fan in it and i think not having a fan in the i5 model uh, really affects how uh, the processor is throttled sometimes as well the fact that this has got some airflow going through it makes me a lot happier uh, this is the bottom section of the box and it's presented like so with two little compartments uh, inside the top compartment we've got some paperwork and inside here we have got just some information about the warranty and then we've got a little tiny booklet which is going to talk us through all the various sort of controls and ports and things like that so a little tiny booklet in there as well let's pop that to one side and then we've got this other box with some accessories in. One thing I would say is at this price point, I think that they should really include the Surface Pen with it. Um, I'm pretty sure with previous generations they always used to, but I really do think that is a, a bit cheeky of them not including it. So this is the power brick. So we've got a figure eight cable with the three pin UK plug on it. And then we've got the multi-voltage power brick here as well. I don't think I'm even going to be able to read what outputs on there, uh, but it will be a multi voltage charger. On this end, we've got the proprietary connector to go into the side. And then this, if you go to another country, you just need another figure eight plug with that country specific plug on the end. Uh, but we've got the charger and the UK power cable there as well. So let's get rid of that box over there. And then we've got the actual Surface Pro. So let's, um, I've got all lion hair. I never thought I would uh, say that in the middle of an unboxing or a review, but I've got lion hair on my uh, gadget. <laughs> so here we go, let's uh, unwrap this. And I'll tell you one of the first things I'm gonna be doing after this is unwrapped is indeed obviously putting that screen protector on. So we've got some little sticky tape bits on here. There we go. I'm not going to turn it on in this video, so if you're waiting for me to do a setup on this, that's not going to happen, unfortunately, because there will be updates and it will take too long within this video. So we've got the screen, obviously, on the front. I don't even know the size of it. I think it's either 12.9 or it might be 13.5. I think it's 12.9, though. We've got the kickstand, uh, which comes out from the back, and this adjusts to various angles. So we can actually stand this up on the desk, for example, at a nice working angle. Very, very nice. We've got front-facing speakers, front-facing camera. We've also got underneath the back here, there's a micro SD card slot. And then we have got the rear-facing camera and I think some microphones. On this side here, um, I'm pretty sure this is mini display port out. We've also got a full-size USB on this size here. And then across the top edge, we've got the volume controls and the power on off. And then on this side here, we have got the uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And that is pretty much it. One thing I would say is that when I took this out, I hope this is okay, but it felt just a bit, 
I don't know, that's fine. It just felt a little bit loose, but that's absolutely fine. It's got some nice sort of uh, uh, resistance to it. And then we've, of course, got this sort of uh, groove all the way round. Oh, something I forgot to show you just here. This is like that proprietary charging connector. So we've got this like like little gap all the way round. Very, very nicely done. And this is where the air will dissipate. So this is where you're going to get that sort of airflow around the outside. And as I say, this is the Core i7. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. And I think it's a really nice product. And for what I've got this in for, which is mainly Photoshop work and obviously drawing direct on the screen, I think it's going to be a really good addition to um, the equipment that I use uh, for production of the content that I share with you all. Uh, it looks really good. No marks on it. I always check my technology really well when it comes out of the box. We've got that mirror effect on the uh, Windows logo on the back. Love the fact that this is running Windows 10 Pro. Really nice looking device. So anyway, let's just stand this up just here for a second. And let's have a look in the chat and see if we've got any questions. Uh, so we've got Raymond Moore saying, is it quad core i7? You know what? I've got no idea. I think it's dual core, to be honest. Uh, but I might be wrong on that. I just bought the core i7 version. Um, I think when you're buying like the Surface uh, Book 2, uh, that comes with a Core i7 quad core. Uh, Gritty Shaker, I can possibly switch to Android, but I don't think I could ever switch to Windows. Yeah, I used to feel the same. Uh, I've got Windows machine. I primarily use Mac, as you know. Uh, that's my sort of uh, operating system of choice. Uh, but nowadays, when you're actually within the application, so for example, when I'm in Photoshop, which I spend a lot of time in, and Final Cut Pro, obviously Mac only, but a video editor is the example. Once you're in the application, the rest sort of disappears nowadays. So it's a lot more stable. Windows 10 is a lot more stable than uh, previous versions of the operating system. Uh, Raymond Moore, does it come with a pen? No, it doesn't. The new Surface Pen is in fact an additional £99. I think that is criminal of them to do that I really well it's probably an overstatement not criminal but I, I just think it's they should have included it you know it's a pen input device really it's a big selling point and to charge an extra 99 pound even for the top end versions I don't think they should really do that uh, David Hepworth is it replacing your iPad and MacBook no it's not this is just an additional machine for particular projects uh, Matthew Geeson how much costs the additional keyboard because it doesn't come in the box. The additional keyboard depends which version you go for. Uh, I think there's like a signature keyboard which is £149 in the UK but I've also seen one that's got uh, like a fingerprint sensor on it which fits as well. And I think that's about £134. Uh, this is UK pounds and I think the best price I've seen on a keyboard for this is about £129. Um, I haven't seen them much cheaper than that. In fact, I've never seen them sort of on sale. Uh, big hello to Gina. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Andy is asking, what's the weight like? So it's, it's pretty, it's a, it's a substantial weight. You know, you're not going to ignore that in your bag, but it's not as heavy as my MacBook Pro. I'd say it's a little bit heavier than my iPad Pro 10.5 inch, a bit heavier than that. But you've got to take into account, you've got the kickstand as well and the mechanisms that sort of adds to the weight. Uh, Matthew says, do you have Word, Excel and PowerPoint pre-installed? I've got no idea. No idea. I don't think so. I don't think that comes pre-installed. Uh, Darren Gator, what key keyboard will you be using with it? I'll in fact be using the signature keyboard, the one with the new, Al is it called Alcantara? Like the cloth type uh, surface on the top. Uh, and Boo, uh, sorry, Boy Walner says you're not switching from Mac OS to Windows 2 are you? No I'm not. I, I use both platforms at the moment. I prefer Mac OS. Uh, this will get me to use Windows OS a lot more obviously uh, but I've been using Windows on the Alienware PC anyway and I'm, I'm used to both. Anyway my background in fact from many many years ago is an IBM engineer and I used to install Windows NT uh, into banks of all places and, and so I've got a good experience of Windows anyway. Um, not so much Windows 10. Admittedly, I don't know the ins and out, outs of Windows 10 very, very well, but I know enough to get by. Uh, Darren Gator, Dave, it's a quad core. Uh, no, it is a quad core 8th gen. I don't think it is, Darren. 
I might be wrong. I don't think it is a quad core. This is the Surface Pro. It's not the Surface Book 2. Uh, the Surface Book 2 is indeed uh, a quad core, most definitely, but I don't think this is a, an 8th gen um, at all. Uh, Darren says also, by the way, Dave, hello. Uh, I hope your day is going well. Well, it's going very well, but it's also coming up to eating time. I'm very, very hungry. Um, I changed my pattern of eating quite a lot lately and I don't snack between meals so much. So I'm absolutely starving. Um, and forgive me if it seems I'm rushing through the broadcast. Sometimes I'm honestly not. Um, but I do think about food a lot while I'm broadcasting and sometimes it makes me stray off and wander off into a, a, a dreamy world of food. <laughs> it really does. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this unboxing and uh, first look. Uh, first impressions, obviously I haven't turned it on. I have experienced these before, so I know the screens are good. But I think it feels like a very, very well-made device. Now, as I mentioned, I did, if you missed the beginning of this broadcast, and in fact the little bit of a scary uh, beginning to the broadcast, I did buy some additional bits for it. I have got a case coming in. Uh, it's an Incipio feather case, which I use on my MacBook Pro. So I've got the correct version for the iPad, uh, sorry, for the Surface Pro. Um, that's coming in. It's a very lightweight snap-on uh, cover. I've also got a leather pouch coming in for it, which I believe was manufactured by Maru, if I'm correct. I think that's right. I've also got the signature keyboard cover uh, and the Surface Pen. Uh, and these were the other bits I showed you at the beginning when I was trying to make you guess. This is like a carbon fibre effect skin. So this does the edges of the device and it also does the uh, back and the kickstand. So I've got that to sort of cover up the edges. I might not put it all over the back, that one, because I've got the feather cover coming in. I also, just in case you missed it, got this 200 gigabyte uh, micro SD card so that's just going to give me some more storage space so I've got 256 gig on here already which I'm going to use for installing the apps obviously the operating system um, and then I might use a, a folder for storing local projects but certainly any projects that I need to sort of archive away or move around will go onto the micro SD card and then because of my OCD and because I want the device to stay nice I have got this glass, uh, tempered glass screen protector, which is like a full coverage, apart from a little piece cut out for the front facing camera at the top. Um, so I've got that to install. And as soon as I finish this broadcast, this is one of the first things I do. I'll probably do it before I even eat. But this glass screen protector is going to go on as well. I say this in a lot of my videos with all the smartphones, um, iPads, tablets, all the devices where you've got a touch sort of control on them or a touch screen. I always say, and I know a lot of people say it's, it's unnecessary nowadays, but I always recommend putting screen protectors on. It's far cheaper to replace something like this. This was uh, about £8.99 uh, on Amazon, and that's far cheaper paying like £9 and, um, than sort of scratching or cracking the screen and then having to pay like a £100, £150 repair bill. So, um, so that's uh, what I've, I've sort of got in. Um, uh, Paul Sergidi is saying, does it not say how say the specs on the box? Yeah, it just says the main specification on the box. It doesn't say the um, uh, the extra specification. Uh, I will check that for you while we're in the broadcast. This is the beauty of obviously um, uh, sort of having uh, you in the chat is I can actually check the tech specs. So it says on here it is an Intel Core i7. 13 and a half hours or up to 13 and a half hours of battery life and with regards to the tech specs of the actual processor let's see if I can find that for you so it just says Intel 7th core uh, 7th gen core i7 so it's a 7th gen uh, Intel Iris Plus graphics 640 on the i7 version and it goes down to 620 on the i5 615 on the M3 uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM uh, didn't want to spend the money on the 16 gigabytes of RAM. 12.3-inch uh, display with a 2736 by 1824 resolution, a 3-2 aspect ratio, which is uh, better for what I'm going to be using it for, and Windows 10 Pro. If I'd have gone for something like the i5 version, let's just go across to that and take a look at the tech specs for the i5 version. Um, 
yeah pretty much all the specs are the same apart from obviously the graphics uh, Wi-Fi across all of them of course as well a 5 megapixel front facing camera and an 8 megapixel rear facing camera so it is a 7th gen processor on uh, this particular one I think when they released the 2018 version then obviously it'll go up to uh, an 8th gen processor and we'll probably see uh, USB-C on here as well I don't think with next year's version we'll see Thunderbolt 3 uh, if we were going to see that we'd have seen that in the Surface Book 2 um, and just as a side note, I do plan at some stage to get a Surface Book 2 in so that I can share my experience as well. Uh, got Critified. What an awesome username. Dave, how can you remain anti-snacking when your sound absorbers look like chocolate? They do, don't they? Big bar of chocolate on the walls and the ceiling. They really do look like chocolate. You've made me even hungrier now. I've tried to cut out as much chocolate as I can. I just eat um, uh, sort of a really high percentage cocoa, so like an 85%, like really dark chocolate. Um, but you've made me very, very hungry. Very hung hungry indeed. Uh, UDG, how old are you? You're only as old as you feel. And today, I feel about 24 today, I think. Yeah, 24. I think in about 20 minutes, if I haven't eaten, I'll probably feel about 25. Uh, but I honestly believe that. I know I'm only joking with you. I honestly believe you're only as old as you feel. Uh, Durham Gate is depending on the actual model number. Some i7 processors do have a quad core. Yeah, you're right, Darren. Absolutely right. Depends on the uh, the model numbers. And I'm really not sure, really not sure what this has got in it. I just uh, didn't even take note of that. I just ordered the i7, which was the sort of the highest rated uh, processor for this particular uh, machine. So anyway, what am I going to be using it for? Probably You're probably all wondering. Well, first of all, I'm not switching to Windows. I, I have switched to Android, as you know from yesterday's video. If you haven't seen that, please do have a look at my uh, OnePlus 5T review, which was uh, I thought was really interesting, because not only did I have your questions to respond to, uh, but I also gave you some insight into how hard I found it switching from the iPhone because I was in that mindset that I still needed the iPhone. Uh, but I'm certainly not um, uh, switching to, to Windows at all. Um, I've got a question here saying, also turn it on, let's see if it's DOA. I, I will do that in a short while, I will turn it on. Let me just push the button now so it can be starting up. There you go. We can see the logos come up really quickly. Um, but I'm not switching to Windows. This is just for other projects. Uh, I've also been a graphic designer for many, many years and I've got a few clients that have asked me to do some work for them which is where this is going to come into play. Uh, it's also going to come into play for creating graphics uh, for videos and graphics for the Geek and Noise channel and for other things that I do on commercial videos. It's going to come in very handy uh, for that as well. Uh, but certainly not switching platforms completely. I will stick with Mac OS obviously for the video editing and for my broadcasts for the foreseeable future. Uh, regardless of bugs in Mac OS as well. We saw the news of a Mac OS sort of exploit bug that was found where you could actually log in as a, as a root admin user without a password and um, uh, that was very quickly fixed. Credit to Apple, they did put out a security patch extremely quickly. I think it was within like 24, 48 hours the patch was there for you to actually uh, download and install. So good job on Apple on that front. Um, Raymond Moore, what programs are you going to install on it, Dave? I'm going to install Photoshop, which is going to be the main use for this particular product. I can see it's already started up and asking me to run through the setup procedure, so it's all looking good. Uh, so yeah, Photoshop is going to be the main one. I might put ZBrush on it as well, uh, and I might also put something like InDesign on there uh, and Illustrator, so mainly Adobe apps. Uh, I'm not going to put any video editing software on there at all. It's going to be primarily used for design. Um, I might try the odd game, but I'm not really a gamer, as you probably have gathered by now from the content that I put out. I'm very, very casual when it comes to games, and this isn't super powerful anyway for, for gaming. Uh, Darren Gator, do you think you will need a hub for it, or is there enough ports on it? Well, there is a lack of ports. There definitely is. There's a USB and I think a mini display port, which isn't great. Um, I was under the impression, well I didn't show my disappointment, that there was another USB port on the other side by mistaking it for another product. 
so yeah, I'll probably use a hub on occasion, uh, but it's mainly going to be used for the pen input, um, and I might use a, like a memory card uh, reader to plug into the USB on occasion as well. Uh, but it's not going to be used for that sort of thing. Uh, if I ever do find that I'm using it more and I want to uh, gain more ports, I might buy the Microsoft Surface Dock, and then that will connect it to an external display and also give me additional ports as well. Uh, Matthew Geeson is asking, do they keep the Surface RT on sale? No, that's no longer available. That's completely gone. Uh, got Critified says, have you tried DaVinci Resolve on Windows for quick video editing? I'm trying to learn it now. I tried it on the Mac, didn't try it on Windows. Or in fact, I tried it very briefly on Windows, but primarily I tried it on Mac uh, before I got the Alienware PC in. And I thought it was good, very fully featured program. But I think when you get used to using a particular video editor, uh, it's very hard for you to then uh, transition across to another one. And I didn't get on with it very well. If I'd spent more time with it and I wasn't so busy, I need like a week off to actually uh, get to grips with new software and because I'm producing video all the time I don't have time to then learn new software very much so um, but good luck I, I hope it works out for you I really do so anyway that is it for this particular live broadcast I hope you enjoyed the beginning I hope I didn't scare you too much for those of you who are wondering what I'm referring to this appeared at the beginning of the video for those of you who have just tuned in uh, this was a Twitter, uh, not Twitter funded, but it was the result of a tweet actually going out. And I said, if enough of you retweeted it, I would buy this mask. I don't even remember how I saw it. I think I just stumbled across it in one of the sales on Amazon and uh, thought it looked cool. And people were saying it was very realistic. So I thought, why not? Let's see if you wanted to see it in a video. And I, and I tweeted it out and um, it was actually sitting behind me the other day on my Panasonic GH5, it was just on the desk there, sitting in the background, and nobody spotted it, or nobody said that they spotted it. Uh, Raymond Moore, Dave, can you check the version of the i7 you have on the system information? Well, no, because I haven't started it up yet. It's still got to be set up. So I'll let you know that in a future video. I'll let you know how it's going in one of my future, perhaps the Q&As, you can ask me that question again. So anyway, that is really it for the live broadcast. If I've missed any of your questions, I do apologise. I try and answer as many as I can. But again, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. Let me just get rid of this packaging. I really do appreciate it, you giving me the time out of your day to join me for these broadcasts. Have a fantastic day wherever you are, and I'll see you all in the next one.